This is the Option RV Tribute Series and it's at Best Aussie Vans because it's a highly self-sufficient off-road weapon. I'll tell you what, the attention to detail here is first rate and it's going to go pretty much anywhere your four-wheel drive can take it. Probably one of the first things to mention about this van is that it was built um, in honour of uh, Option RV owner and founder builder Steve Dumoloski who passed away last year. Some of the members of the caravan industry, um, Option RV staff got together um, and built this van um, to one of Steve's designs and um, it's come up beautifully. Now this van has a heavy duty chassis, there's a lot of steel underneath. You've got a six inch A-frame that runs the full length of the van and also six inch main member rails for the chassis, including a two inch razor so that you don't have wheel arches intruding into the layout. As far as construction of the body goes, well, it's Moranti timber with composite aluminium cladding and it all adds up to a really nice looking rig. You've got the uh, DA35 off-road coupling, uh, the control rider, uh, independent dual shock suspension, uh, good mud terrain tyres and there are some clever details here I quite like. For example, there are two spare wheels. Uh, one is, is fitted to the rear bar, fairly standard fitment, but the second spare is actually fitted to underneath the body at the front. So it's a better weight distribution sort of situation. And also too, for off-road of course, you've got stones kicking up everywhere. You don't want them hitting you know, your electricals or plumbing. And um, in the Option RV, it's all carefully uh, uh, routed through um, cutouts in the uh, cross, cross beams, so uh, it's well up high, out of the way. You've got 600 watts of solar on the roof, charging two 100 amp hour AGM batteries. You've also got two 95 litre freshwater tanks, as well as a 65 litre filtered drinking water tanks, and if that's not enough, this van also gets a 95 litre grey water tank. Now how's that for self-sufficiency? What about external features? Well, you've got your full electric awning, which I know from experience can make the world of difference. You've got the external TV box with the awesome Fusion sound system, and also this neat stainless steel kitchen. And it even comes with this really cool little slide out tray, bit of extra bench space or a spot for your Weber, and it even has a spot for your cutlery. I think it's uh, a beautiful design, uh, really well finished. Uh, the thing I do like is the electric awning, also the Fusion stereo for the external controller. So it uh, operates two zones, internal, external, so the simplicity of that arrangement. Yeah, it's a really good van for external entertaining and outdoor living. It's got the external kitchen, external speakers, um, the radio, as you said, can be controlled from the outside as well, which is fantastic. Up the front of the van, yep, you've got your DO35 coupling, mesh stone guard, couple of nine kilo gas cylinders, and even a neat light bar up the top. But what I really like is this storage box with the gullwing doors for easy access, and even the little slide out trays for your tools. Really good idea. Good amount of external storage options too, including this rear locker, but that'll even fit a two KVA generator. Don't mind the exterior shower too. It has a very large tunnel boot, which in this case also has a nice slide out kitchen so you can cook inside or outside. It has also gullwing, gullwing door storage in the front with a couple of drawers. Um, this fan actually has a very good load capacity, which is definitely needed because um, in addition to the storage, it also has two 95 litre water tanks and an additional six litres of fresh water. So it's well and truly equipped for the off-road scene. And a grey water tank. And a grey water tank, yes, <laughs> let's mention the grey water tank of course. Still a rarity in some caravans, but it's great to see it, especially mm. on a van that's built for getting off the grid. It's the attention to detail that really grabs me about this van. I love the layout, I love how the bedroom is nicely separated from the main living quarters. It's technologically sophisticated too. You know, you've even got an iPod docking station. I also like the bulkhead with the LED strip lighting and lots of down lights too that creates a really nice soft ambience inside. One of the things I liked best about the van was when you walk inside, it feels a lot bigger than a 20 foot van, I thought. It's really well proportioned, it's got a real sense of privacy, which you don't get in a lot of caravans, especially, you know, sort of vans of that length. The bedroom's quite separate from the living area, um, which allows you sort of space to 
do your own thing. The proportions of the kitchen as well I thought were great um, with that angled kitchen bench um, which you see a little bit more of these days but it gives you sort of extra bench top space to prepare your meals if the weather turns bad and you can't make use of the excellent outdoor kitchen. It's a huge 12 volt compressor fridge freezer. It's also got the full height slide out pantry, full cooking facilities, genuine leather dinette lounges, and of course, you can't go past the Air Command Ibis 3 aircon. I've never seen this before, and I love it. Option RV has grain matched the cupboards of the overhead lockers, so it's not a hodgepodge of patterns. It just looks neat and uniform, and you know what? It's first class. The ensuite, well that's as classy as the rest of the van, but the real point of difference here is the shower. It's bigger than what you'll find on most vans. Yep, this is a substantial van. 180 kilos on the ball and a tear figure of 29, 80 kilos. But you know what? It's bloody well put together.